Skip it up and that up. So many people throughout the industry are paying respects to Satoru Iwata. They're putting up tweets on Twitter, videos on YouTube, posts on Facebook. It's nice to see. One of those people were uh, 343 Industries director Frank O'Connor. Uh, he put up this tweet on Twitter. Sad to hear the wonderful and legendary Satoru Iwata has passed away. Commend his soul. And of course, there had to be someone on Twitter, predictably, that fucking ruined it. Uh, this guy's name is Pablo Espinoza. I'm going to guess that he's about 12 or 13 years old from his uh, handle, uh, Panda Pablo 2002. He tweets at Frankie O'Connor, hashtag bring Halo 5 split screen back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, most people would have probably left that alone saying, okay, you're a dumbass. I'm not even going to respond to it. But Frank O'Connor, I guess, has the same kind of personality that I do, which gets me in trouble in Review Tech USA. And he responded to the stupidity. This is what Frank O'Connor had to say. Uh, Pablo Panda 2002 wanted folks to see an inappropriate, idiotic tweet before I block you and hope you take five minutes to think about what you did. Now, many people will say, Rich, just ignore shit like that. Frank should have ignored shit like that. It was just someone being dumb. But they're just it just drives me insane. And I understand where Frank was coming from, because here you are, you're just trying to pay respects to someone who was highly regarded in the industry. You know, it's sad that they died fairly young and it's a tragedy and you want to pay your respects and someone just has to write something f stupid to fucking ruin it. Like you're just sitting there, you're paying your respects and someone's like, I want split screen and Halo. And it's just like, even if you're a kid, like at 10 years old or 12 years old, I knew a time and a place for shit like that. I wouldn't have, that's like going to a funeral procession and, and you know, there's two 12 year old kids there and you see, and the friend goes to his friend whose father just died or something like that. I understand this isn't on that level, but it's, it's close enough. And the friend goes to his other friend at the funeral. I beat your ass in Halo last night, bro. That was pretty sick, huh? It's like you don't get that's not the right time for it and i don't want to hear oh he was probably just looking for attention rich because that's not an excuse either even if you're young if you if you think that getting attention by staying stupid shit during a, a tragedy where someone's trying to show their respects is a fun way to get attention i don't care what age you are you really need to reevaluate your life and to the parents out there who may have kids that are trolling like this you need to keep teach your fucking kids right from wrong because they're going to grow up to be morons. And what scares me even more, I'm not going to mention names. This is I saw people on Twitter last night, grown men I know for a fact that are like my age or older. We're going under people commenting on rest, rest in peace Satoru Iwata or thank you for all the great memories. And we're trolling and saying nasty shit just to get a rise. And when people replied back, I'm just messing around making light of it. They were looking for attention. Some of these guys are actually grown men that are married. So I'm thinking to myself, here is proof. This is like mental dysfunction to the nth degree. If you're a grown married man in your 30s and you think it's fun to take time out of your day, like you go on your computer purposely and take time out of your day to basically mock a person who was a legend in the industry who just died because you want to get a rise out of people from it like th this is that was your sole purpose you need to look in the mirror and figure out what the fuck is wrong with you because there is something seriously seriously wrong with you like possibly one day you may become a serial killer kind of wrong it's creepy look the bottom line is this i'm not telling you now you should just love nintendo and agree with every business move you want to made and other people at nintendo made but a man passed away show respect it would be the same as if your next door neighbor passed away or a family friend passed away or even someone you weren't fond of passed away they left this earth they're no longer here you show respect because if the shoe was on the other foot and you passed away, you would want people to show you respect and not have people troll and say bullshit on your memorial page on Facebook or wherever the case it may be. Think about it. Would you want that to happen to you? No. So show respect to other people who passed on. It's absolutely amazing that I even have to explain shit like this. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.